Hey everyone, it's Mason and Amanda and we just went on a 3,500 mile road trip from Appleton, Wisconsin to Eugene, Oregon. We sure did. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we met up with a lot of herbalists, um, recorded a bunch of content and mostly just hung out with them. So buckle up and come on this road trip with us. So we're here in Eureka, Missouri, which is actually just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. And yesterday we had the privilege to hang out with Tiffany Jones, who's the owner of Cheryl's Herbs. So my name is Tiffany Jones and I am with Cheryl's Herbs Group. We're an herbal and aromatherapy store. So we have a retail store, e-commerce, and then we also do manufacturing here. Also, we hung out with our friend Alex Quitham Payne. Um, I actually know Alex, uh, through like the Columbine School of Botanical Studies. Uh, we both studied there in Oregon. Um, and then it was kind of a surprise and a bonus. We also got to hang out with uh, Abigail Harris, um, who I've actually been emailing back and forth with over the past year or so. Um, I don't know if I realized she was actually in St. Louis, uh, but they all work there at Cheryl's Herbs. And small world. Small world, and there's it appears to be quite the budding herb scene in St. Louis. So... Yeah, that was a lot of fun. But. Yeah, we recorded some schoolhouse um, classes, a lot of Ask an Herbalist. Well, we did an herb was, shop tour. Oh, the herb shop tour. Uh, yes. So Tiffany showed us around Cheryl's Herbs. Um, so uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun to, it's been fun to get now, I think this is our fourth herb shop tour. Mm -hmm. So it's it's fun to see kind of the, some of the similarities, but as, as well as like the unique uh, differences between all of them. But. Yeah. So getting here was quite the adventure. We actually uh, had some minor repairs that had to be done on the RV uh, that we kind of found out about last minute. Getting out of Wisconsin was actually pretty smooth sailing until um, one of our storage bins started like flapping on the side of the RV, which was kind of sketchy because, you know, we don't want stuff flying out while we're driving down the highway. Um, so we duct taped it. A little DIY yeah. situation. Yeah. Um, and then, and then it started flapping again. So what turned out to be like a, what should have been probably a six hour drive ended up being much longer because of the stops. And then we stopped at a, a, a handy, a trusty Menards. Save uh, big money. Yeah, save big money at Menards. Um, this is not a sponsored ad. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, we got some, we got two bolts. We super glued the bolts to the side of the RV where the door is and then we zip tied it and then we put down a shitload more duct tape. Shit. Uh, and <laughs> and um, so that was our, our, our fix. Um, I'm sure both of our fathers would be very proud of us. Um, but yeah, so it's just been fun uh, solving the different challenges we've had. And um, uh, here we are, we're ready to go on to our next destination, which is we're going from Eureka, Missouri to Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Land of the Ozarks. I was just going to say, we've been watching the Ozark series. It's beautiful here. It is beautiful here. Uh, that's something else I wanted to mention. I yeah. really vibe with St. Louis. Uh, granted, we didn't get to spend much time actually in the city. We were kind of in like a, uh, a neighborhood called Maplewood, which was also really cute. Um, but I would love to come back and visit St. Louis more and just, I really want to go on the arch. Uh, that'd be super fun. But uh, but yeah, beautiful scary. city. Um I'm excited to come back and spend actual time here. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you for the great time, St. Louis, and Tiffany, and Abigail, and Alex, and everyone at Cheryl's Herbs. It was awesome to hang out with you. Very sweet people. You could really tell they all really loved what they did. Yeah. Um, and their mission, and yeah, they're great hosts. Absolutely. <laughs> So we made it to Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and oh my god, I'm obsessed with this town. Um, we met with the coolest herbalist. Um, Lorna Trigg Skydancer. Yes, and we'll put some clips in here, but she has the dream home with the dream apothecary with the dream 
Everything. Art studio. Art studio yeah. and. She's a United Plant Savers Botanical Sanctuary. I know that. Uh, yeah, just really cool features like a labyrinth right when you pull in and. Yes, it's it seems like it's a very sacred and healing place on 15 acres of land, and she teaches classes at her house. So that was a dream. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, it kind of. You can tell, oh, what am I gonna say? Um, <laughs> it fits, it makes sense being in Eureka Springs because it's this quirky, artsy, I made the comment right away, like, oh, this reminds me of um, Universal Studios yeah. where they make these fake towns and lots of vibrant colors and cool craft stores, but it's in real life. Yeah, so. it's, it's not like, a fake town it's like this is the town this is this, the town it's... every person is an artisan or artist of some sort and uh yeah we're just down there right now there's like a, a tour being given so like there's like this sense of history here and uh just a lot of amazing culture i'm, I'm really excited to come back and uh actually check out the springs more i don't think we'll have time for that this time around mm -hmm. but uh um yeah it's just a magical place same with lorna's property like uh and that was only what a seven minute drive from downtown yeah, yeah. it's yeah there's a lot of nooks and crannies and every nook this, and cranny yeah. has some sort of art it's crazy yeah. i didn't know this place existed yeah. and yeah it has a good balance of like yeah. natural elements yeah. there's like the downtown area but then there's just so much nature kind of intertwined yeah. throughout the yeah. whole thing um yeah i would say that the people who live here are super lucky um, it's, it's, uh, it's a place I'd love to explore a lot more. So yeah, I've always heard of a uh, Fire Ohm Earth uh, and Lorna's work. Uh, so it was really cool that it kind of worked out go driving from St. Louis to Austin, Texas. This was like the perfect in-between point mm -hmm. to where we could actually just stop and spend an entire afternoon uh, with Lorna learning about her work. So what I do here, in I'm in my studio, and the studio is a multimedia studio. I've always worked multimedia. Two of my main uh, projects are always working in clay and growing medicinals. So both have to do with dirt or mud or digging in the dirt. I think I might have been a mole in a past life. But um, I like to work multimedia. So I have a clay studio set up and I do have students. And when I bring people in to work in clay, I like to teach them to use their hands and do hand building. When I say use your hands, you always use your hands. But instead of I'm sitting in front of a potter's wheel, which I use, but I don't have students using that. I really, I think the basis of mostly everything I do has to do with uh, getting back to your roots or to our ancestral roots. So whether that is making a pot that you're or a bowl that you're going to eat out of and hand building it or a utilitarian piece that you're hand building. So I like to work with clay in that fashion is letting people be in the process of building with clay. I also do some uh, botanical illustration. One of my absolute favorite things to do is work in watercolor and that uh, doing that what I can do is really start studying the plants that I'm working with in an herbal fashion I feel that there's a missing link I think you go into an apothecary and there's all this beautiful dried herb in bottles but do you really know that plant so for what I grow on the property and what I work with I illustrate as I'm working with those plants or as they're starting to grow in the different seasons and the different uh, stages of their life. She does She does a lot more than I realized, mainly including like her, her art and... Uh, yeah, she, do, she makes shoes, she does like... Um, pottery. Pottery, she does um, like fabrics, like costume wear. Yeah. Yeah. She obviously makes a lot of medicinal healing uh medicine yeah. yeah on top on top of all the art she's a herbalist like that's yeah. her that's her main thing so yeah it was just awesome to meet her and uh just kind of uh yeah experience her land and yeah, yeah. so what a cool community i love it yeah it was really like i really liked st louis 
uh, and I want to spend more time there. But then coming here too, I was like, oh man, Eureka Springs is awesome. I can only imagine what's next. We're going to Austin, Texas next, which is another city I've always wanted to check out. So uh, who knows what's in store for us there. Uh, but yeah, excited for the rest of our adventure. <laughs> So we drove from Arkansas to Austin, Texas. And let me tell you, on the way, uh, we passed through Dallas and that was no easy feat with a 30 foot RV. Amanda got us through that like a champ though, uh, weaving in and out of these crazy highway systems. Uh, and you can't miss turns either because it's impossible to back up. We already experienced that one time. Amanda, tell us how you feel. Stress, I got a poop, I've been farting up a storm. <laughs> Amanda got us through Dallas, which is a metropolis of like, I believe 1.2 million people, uh, including getting us gas in a very small parking lot, which was also impressive. But anywho, we made it from Dallas to Austin, where we hung out with Jesus Garcia. Hello friends, this is Jesus Garcia, Mexican shaman and herbalist. Today we are at the Herbal Action Project Homestead and schoolhouse. He invited us over for New Year's, so we got to get the whole fam experience, delicious food. They're super sweet, um, complete strangers, and all these little kids are giving us hugs and saying <laughs> goodbye. It was really, really darling. Also, we got kind of like this impromptu plant walk from Jesus because that's what herbalists do. Uh, when you go and visit them, they have to show you their yard uh, or their property. And then and Jesus gave us a, like a, almost a just before midnight plant tour. So that was really fun. Yeah. He knows his shit. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> and the next day, we recorded some video with him where uh, we were like, Jesus, what do you want to do for the Herb Rally Schoolhouse? And what he decided upon was a... Uh, a plant spirit meditation, which unbeknownst to me, I was actually gonna be the participant, the sole participant, where I guess as a viewer, you're gonna get to participate along as well. So that was really fun and uh, really meaningful for me. I feel like it gave me a nice reset on our trip. Um, so stay tuned for, for that in the Herb Rally Schoolhouse, a, a nice plant meditation with uh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we headed west and we are actually now in Phoenix, Arizona, um, where we're meeting up with one of Mason's friends, Colin. Yeah. But I'm really excited. I haven't seen Colin, I don't think in like two years. Colin is not an herbalist, but that's okay. He's a good buddy of mine. Uh, I'm really excited to uh, hang out with him. Uh, he's gonna show us around a little bit of Tempe. Went to a really cool restaurant. Uh, and then pasties. We, uh, had some pa pasties. Is that how you say pasties? it? Not pasties. No, they're pasties. Uh, pasties. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we went on an in-town hike. Kind of got to see the pa panoramic view of Tempe, Arizona. Really, really cool place. But uh, what did you think about that? I loved it. Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we were super hungry that day. Yeah. So food, like real food was real nice. Real nice. Real nice. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the hike. Um, Definitely was a great surprise. Yeah. Um, I was a little bit out of shape, but whatever. <laughs> it was very steep. Very uh, steep. Uh, but yeah, it was great. Uh, Colin and I have known each other probably for, what, 18 years or something like that. So it was great to see a, a good friend from the Pacific Northwest. He lives in the desert now. So, uh, but just a great dude. And it was nice to get to hang out with uh, Tracy as well. So. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and then moving along, we went from uh, Tempe and drove all the way to the Morongo Valley in California, uh, which is just stunning. I mean, there's Joshua tree galore. Saw a coyote. Well, you actually saw a pack. You, well, you saw three, saw three coyotes, yep. which we later later learned from Christina Sanchez that that's a good omen. So, so on a full, almost full moon. It was uh, basically on a full moon, and uh, yeah, so. So yeah, in the Morongo Valley, we hung out with Howie Brownstein and Christina Sanchez. I'm Howie Brownstein and I'm a caffeine addict. Oh wait, wrong group. Hi, I'm Howie Brownstein. <laughs> 
Howie Brownstein, as you may or may not know, is I, I, I consider my original herbal mentor. I took the herbalism apprenticeship at the Columbine School of Botanical Studies, uh, which I can't highly recommend enough. So if you're looking for an herbal program, it's in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, you can learn more about Howie and his work at botanicalstudies.net. Uh, but yeah, not to be too promotional for Howie, it was just a, a really nice stay in the Morongo Valley, huh? Yeah, they made us dinner and breakfast, and it was really fun to watch them in their own little element, in their own world, and yeah, I very welcoming and warm and cozy. Yeah. And Christina is an amazing cook. She so made us good. tamales and uh, um, uh, a nice Mexican breakfast uh, the yeah. next day. And uh, but yeah, their their house just has so much character and flair and. Um, yeah. Uh, beautiful desert native plants in their yard. And uh, the, the funny thing is that it was actually raining. Uh, it was the only rain we've gotten on this whole trip so mm -hmm. far. And uh, we were, we've been wanting to go out in the desert uh, to, do, to learn about the Joshua tree with Christina. Um, and it was just, the weather was too, uh, it was too rainy, so. Hi, my name is Christina Sanchez and I am in the Mojave Desert. I am a botanist, herbalist, you can find me on everleafspeaks.org or on Instagram, everleafspeaks, and on Facebook, everleafspeaks. We still recorded a bunch of Ask an Herbalist stuff with, with Howie and with Christina, and so, so, so stay tuned for some of that material. That'll be great. I think Amanda might be a little nervous right now because someone just told us uh, that there's rattlesnakes on these rocks down here, but uh, I think we're Gucci. Gucci. Uh, right now we're in Ventura, California. This is just a gem. We love it here. It's it's got kind of like the small town vibe. Parking was super easy. There's not much tra <laughs> there's not much traffic, um, and we're we're here to see Jiling Lin. Here we are with Jiling Lin uh, in her uh, nice home here in Ventura, California. Uh, Amanda and I were on a road trip right now. We're absolutely loving this city, uh, and yeah, thanks for taking the time to uh, hang out with us. Thanks for coming to visit good old Ventura. <laughs> That's right. uh, we're going to do, I believe, my first ever interview. Hopefully, if all goes according to plan, we're, we're going to do a, an, our first episode of the Herbalist Hour with uh, Mason Hutchison. And we're, and we're going to interview Ji Ling Lin. Uh, and she lives here in beautiful Ventura, California. What do you have to say about Ventura? Uh, I love all the colorful buildings and the tiles yeah. and the, the palm trees and the beach and everyone's super nice. Yeah, it definitely has that small town. I know it's not a small town, but I don't think so, nice. at least maybe it is. Nice but thanks for joining us all along the journey so far. If you've liked the video so far, can you give it a big old thumbs up? And also, perhaps consider leaving a comment in the video, uh, letting us know where you think we should go on our next herbalist road trip. Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading back in a few months to Wisconsin, so we're probably gonna take uh, another long route and try to meet up with a bunch of cool herbalists. So, so give us a thumbs up and let us know where you think we should go next. So we made it to Eugene, Oregon. We're actually at Mount Pisgah on this beautiful sunny day. <laughs> what? Uh, and uh, uh, the trip from Ventura to Eugene uh, was very long. Uh, we were originally planning on stopping in Mount Shasta uh, for an extra day to hang out with herbalist Jamie Skepkowski with Salmon River Apothecary, um, but that didn't work out due to inclement weather. Um, it was it, looking like Wisconsin for a second. It was crazy, yeah, going up over the pass on I-5 from California to Oregon. Um, there's this summit there, and as we were approaching the summit, it just kept getting uh, snowier and snowier and windier, and uh, you know, dragging along the 30-foot RV is uh, was quite sketchy. Yeah, I was uh, white knuckling it, and uh, so much stress that uh, I had Mason take over, and just as we pull off, we switch, and then literally the second he starts driving, it all stops, so. It was pretty funny, uh, but also kind of disappointing for you. It's comical. And it was pretty smooth sailing from there, uh, but it was still, I wanna say, it was about a 16 to 18 hour day for us, um, and we were pulling really? in. Yeah, yeah, because we left at like 4 a.m., 
or something. And then we didn't get home until right. about 10 p.m. Uh, in Eugene. Uh, so we were pulling into the uh, RV park at about 10 p.m. Uh, exhausted, hungry. We got some good Thai food in Roseburg, so um, that was uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty fun. So <laughs> glad to be back. Yeah. We're all settled in. Yeah. Um, editing this vlog. Yeah. Um. <laughs> enjoying our time here so uh thanks so much for joining us on our vlog we really hope you liked it uh we'll probably be doing some more of these in the future so thanks again for all the herbalists um for hanging out with us and recording some really cool content um keep your eyes peeled for those they're starting to roll in um some really fun ones i'm really excited about them so yeah, a lot of the content's gonna be on our YouTube channel as well as our Herb Rally Schoolhouse, which, are, which is our membership area. So if you wanna check that out, you can go to herbrally.com slash schoolhouse. Uh, and if you wanna check it out, you can get your first 30 days for free uh, by using coupon code YouTube30. Uh, but other than that, that's gonna do it for us. And again, hope you enjoyed it. And ta-ta for now. Ta-ta, bye. <laughs> See you later. Alligator. <laughs> Mills, here's Louisiana. No, that's California. That's Louisiana. Here's Iowa. That's that's Texas. That's that's Iowa. <laughs> here's here's New York. Washington. Where's New York? That's New York. Hmm. Here's Oregon. This. That's Oregon. You know that one? Uh huh. Where is it? That's Wisconsin. That's Wisconsin. Mm hmm. Here's Georgia. That's Georgia, that's Georgia, and that's Oklahoma. <laughs> mm hmm Here's Colorado. That's the Colorado, that's Colorado. What's that one? That's Alabama.